we're going to come for having number two. Alright, so I'm only posting two videos tonight. This one and the one before this one, which was like my parody video intro or whatever. So, today I did do some martial arts stuff on my Instagram page. Alright? So I'm debating on also putting my martial arts on my TikTok, my Instagram, and Twitter. Alright? And whatever other platform I can find. But um, the question is for y'all, you know, do y'all really want more martial arts stuff? Because I would prefer to give y'all martial arts stuff. I would prefer to do a lot of martial arts stuff. The problem is that I don't have a guinea pig. And by guinea pig, I mean a punching bag or a sparring partner who is actually willing to let me show people what works and what doesn't. We're not going to be doing a whole lot of fancy stuff due to my hip, which I had explained earlier today about range of motion and shit like that. So here's here's the thing about martial arts, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say this because you know I got a sidekick, but I'm gonna say this for the simple fact that truth of the matter is just because you have a black belt, it does not make you a great fighter or a great martial artist. And just because you are a great martial artist, depending on your term of martial artist, because you could be a great martial artist for show and can't fight your way out of a wet paper bag. It happens, trust me. Or you could be like me, I've been fighting, just not professionally. You know, I've never caught in a break, and I'm going to explain that in the next video. Alright? Because, you know, you guys can Google this shit if you want. But I'll, um, I'll save that for the next video. The fact of the matter is that um, I'm 5'3". Alright? 5'3", buck 20. And for a long time, they didn't have my weight class, which is why you don't know who I am. You don't know if I'm telling you legit shit or not. And for the most part, here's the thing about people who are telling you legit shit. We're not going to tell you something that you can't use or that does not work for the people who have used it. Now, some things just don't work for you, period. It's not that you haven't been taught properly. It's just that either you won't get the opportunity to use it or the person that you are fighting is just way better and knows more technique. So in my next video, I'll be sure to talk about things like that. And that will be the second part of this video. This is just an intro to some of the martial art ideas that I've had. I taught people today about, um, you know, gloves. I don't have any training clothes because I used to, when I was younger, um, I trained in whatever the hell I was wearing. Now, um, poor people, poor people know, like I know. Um, Tap Out doesn't sponsor me, so I don't have any clothes from Tap Out to go and train. Um, Under Armour, Gold's Gym, no one sponsors me. I have to buy my own shit. So, you know, whatever I have, if I feel like training that day and stuff like this, I'm going to train. Here's how this works. If you are a true martial artist, your uniform doesn't matter. You know, because, you know, if you're a martial artist, first and foremost... You train every day, all day, everywhere, all right? Now, you might not get to do it like I said, but for the most part, you train. You train. It doesn't matter if you're wearing shorts or whatever. You, know, you can't train in your underwear. If I could, I would. I'm not going to go train in my underwear because I would like not to get arrested for indecent exposure. But, you know, I don't have biker shorts. I'm poor. You know, uh, places that I can afford to shop don't have military discount. Therefore, Walmart does not have military discount. Pants are from Walmart. This is a gift. So I'm going to promote them while I'm doing this martial art thing. So in the next video, I intend on talking about my future plans for this channel for however much longer I intend to do it. Because let's face it, I've been trying to get into acting for 19 years. And I have failed for 19 years. I'm on the break of either making a breakthrough or totally fucking quitting. Now, totally fucking quitting feels right. Because after 19 years of this, I don't know, I think the channel's only probably been on for like maybe 5 or 10 years. But, you know, I just got Instagram and I just got Twitter. So, yeah. I had a Facebook, half of MySpace. You know, I'm considering quitting. But I don't want to act to make money. I want to act so I'll be able to be happy. If I make enough money, I want to open up my old dojo and teach for free and let the movie money 
run the dojo. So since that's an epic fail, because clearly I'm not acting, you know, I got to do what I got to do. But I'm not going to teach people shit that they can't use. And that's, that's my number one priority right there. I'm also going to talk about, like, my usage of how much I hate belts and shit like that. We'll get into that in the next video. But anyway, as I close this out, you know, I did teach certain things about range of motion and other things. And you can find that on my Instagram page. I talked about being bullied in school. I left all names off for their safety, not mine, because anybody that's dumb enough to come after me after we've been out of school for 20-something damn years, you deserve the ass whooping that you will receive. I'm James Williams, you just come for Havoc number two, B, C, and U. After all, the channel is called Kung Fu Havoc. That should um probably be served as a warning. Thanks, guys.